Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video and today what we got is, well, the official war table for Hawkeye. It's here. Finally, we're going to watch it. We're going to see what's going on. I saw some things in my sub box that maybe hinted towards a next gen trailer, so could be some exciting things to see here. We'll get into it in just a moment. Before we get into everything though, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video or the reaction, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And also if you're new here and you're looking forward to Marvel's Avengers or at least want to be kept up to date on the game, well then I got you covered. I've been making and will continue to make videos on all the news and updates, trailers, gameplay, my reactions, and all that fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, well then if you'd like, you can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And with all that said, I don't want to waste too much more time. Let's jump in and check out the Avengers War Table deep dive for Hawkeye in three, two, one. Okay, PlayStation 5. Oh, let me move the mouse. Ooh. This is the new region. Okay. Is that the Chimera? Oh. The Chimera. Lucky the dog. No way. This is cool. Okay, Lucky doesn't look very realistic. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go. Come on. We already saw the logos. Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Divided. Who is that? It's heroes outlawed. Oh, is that just a voice? Okay, it's just a voiceover, I think. When evil eclipses hope, the only thing left is to fight back. Come on. Lot of lot of aimbots. Darkens the horizon. And it's going to take Is there gonna be like a maestro boss battle? To stop. Again. Oh, that skin is sick. Okay, that was kind of sick. That was kind of sick. This new region looks awesome. Okay, Bishop. Two operations. Welcome to the end of the world. Okay. Okay. Is Lucky like in emotes and stuff? That's cool. Welcome back to Marvel's Avengers War Table Deep Dive. You've reassembled Earth's mightiest heroes and defeated Modok. You've met our first new hero in season one, Kate Bishop, as she uncovered an evil conspiracy I like her, I like her combat. Nick Fury and time travel. If the DLC as continues noted, to be like Kate Bishop, but on a more consistent level, I'll be happy. All footage captured on the PlayStation 5. We're excited to celebrate the launch of Marvel's Avengers on Next Generation Systems on when? March 18th. March 18th? You'll experience enhanced visuals, higher frame rates, and faster load times. And there's no additional upgrade cost to current gen players. Nice. Today, we'll deep dive into okay, chapter two away. of season one with Operation Hawkeye, Future Imperfect. Clint's so they story are calling brings this us face season to face one. with a possible future where all hope is lost. Old Man Hawkeye? Old Man Hawkeye? If everything you saw is true, the end of the world is far closer than we'd like. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what happened to him at the end of the Cape Bishop DLC. In the future, we get attacked by a warrior race called the Kree. When will this Kree invasion take place, Clint? This is like what we're building up to. Clint! Don't die on me. Yeah. We thought we were heroes, but we died <laughs> as fools. That voice. Oh my god. Where's Nick Fury? Some things need to change. Oh, Taskmaster's back? Who's the murder hobo? Katie? Oh! Clint? Oh man, Hawkeye. That's sick. Oh my god. Never venture. We are gonna fight my store. Coward. 
Whoa, yeah, we had like current day Hawkeye with options. old man Hawkeye like together. Oh my God. Uh, here, boy. Clint. Uh. The wastelands of our future oh, imperfect story man. are okay. heavily inspired okay. by the old man Hawkeye series, especially the Eye for an Eye collection. In the comics, the world's supervillains organized to eliminate all superheroes, and the world collapsed from there. Hawkeye was spared and had to live to watch it all happen, and he ultimately avenges the fallen heroes. In our story, Old Man Hawkeye retired, and when the Kree invasion happened, he Isn't wasn't a part Old Man of the Hawkeye fight. blind? He has tried to make up for it for decades, following Commander Nick Fury's trail through the wastelands in hope that he can make things right. Back in the present, young Hawkeye has business to deal with in his Brooklyn apartment, in a part of the story inspired by the comic run, My Life as nice. a Weapon. Nice. Luckily, he'll have the help of a few friends, including oh my God. everyone's favorite Lucky. dog, Lucky. Our heroes will have to muster all their strength to deal with a new threat, the supreme leader, Maestro. After a devastating oh, nuclear war destroys most of Earth, the Hulk is driven insane by the sheer scale of destruction and loss. Absorbing more and more excess radiation from the nuclear fallout, the, cooler in the, the maddened Hulk adopts a new name, Maestro and decides to rebuild the world in his own image. He takes out every other superhero and villain, finally resting on a throne surrounded by trophies of his defeated enemies. Any other Easter eggs? You Maestro gotta give me a Black Panther teaser. If you're gonna show that Black Panther Hulk helmet. Future Imperfect number one, you gotta give me the Black Panther teaser. He's a Hulk from an alternate future that possesses Bruce Banner's terrifying intelligence and the Hulk's more ferocious personality traits. The Wastelands are a possible future in Hawkeye's future imperfect. I hope there's more than just Maestro's the alien villains warrior in the DLC, race though. Of the Kree invades Earth and leaves behind a barren, uninhabitable desert strewn with the wreckage of giant Kree battleships That's and centuries dark. among the traces of humanity's last stand. The Wastelands are a new region on the war table, and in addition to Hawkeye future like imperfect exclusively missions, showing there this are villain skin sectors Hawkeye. and other missions that will appear alongside the Hawkeye operation and afterwards. The U and Funeral? Clint's bow skills are second to none in the Marvel Universe, oh. and we took inspiration from his Ronin period to yes. create his sword abilities. Show me a Ronin skin. A powerful melee and ranged hero. Give we me a Ronin skin. We also to the comics to draw on the similarities and differences between Clint and Kate, how each should move and feel. Clint's quick draw reflexes intrinsic defense allows nice. him to sidestep enemy attacks and parry with a fast I'm trying to remember Kate Bishop's Clint's um, dead eye skill allows him to focus to his aim on a single target, increasing damage and reaction with razor arrows. That's pretty cool. Clint's ranged arsenal is second Ooh. to none with 10 different unique arrow types. What was that skin? Grapple arrow lets Clint traverse the environment with ease and is okay. also an intrinsic heavy so he's attack. he's not teleporting. Reeling into enemies before slashing them with his sword. That's pretty his sick. His intrinsic attacks include boomerang arrows that seek out targets before Ooh, returning. Ooh, the Nola? Use implosion the arrows Nola? to cluster enemies together or draw them away from you. Use tripwire shot to stagger weaker enemies and push back larger okay, foes looks, with a spread of Kate projectiles Bishop. tethered together with it's energy. Just that the, uh, Parry enemies with rocket arrows, the effect which different. attach to targets, sending them airborne. Rocket arrows, nice. Pulsar arrows attach to surfaces and build up energy before Ooh. exploding. The more they build up, the bigger the boom. Clint's assault heroic uses nightstorm arrows. Launch into the air and rain down projectiles, decimating That's areas of the battlefield. That's pretty sick. Just as important, his recovery arrow support heroic unleashes Ooh. nanobots that swarm nearby allies and restore their willpower. He's got support abilities. The hunter's arrow ultimate heroic is an AI guided projectile that flits across the battlefield, <laughs> piercing targets. Okay. Once upgraded, fire two at once. Add explosive charges or focus that's damage pretty, on player targeted That's posts. pretty sick. Like that's Kate, oh. Clint comes with loads oh. of outfits and emotes. Oh my god. The Ronin skin is perfect. We the love Ronin skin our is perfect. The Ronin skin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Ronin game. skin, and we that's all I'm gonna use. This without the Marvel that's it. Avengers community. Just gonna use the and Ronin as skin. Always thank you for telling us what you think and what you would like to see in the future. Please follow Marvel's Avengers on YouTube for more exciting content. You can give me something. Some teas. Make sure you visit playavengers.com for our weekly blog where you can find everything from patch notes to tips and fun content. Give me some teas. Until Something. then, we'll see you online and in the game. Nothing? Ah, oh, they're not going to tease anything?
Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Damn. Okay. 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 Uh, so the next gen version coming in March 18th, which is cool. Did they say when the Hawkeye DLC was coming? When is Hawkeye's DLC on the 18th as well? Are we seriously going to have to wait a whole nother month for this DLC? Because that's pretty crazy. I don't know. Overall, the gameplay looks pretty good. The character looks pretty fun. Um, I, I'm trying to remember like Kate Bishop's content, like her her gameplay and her combat, and to see how different Hawkeye is to her. I see some differences, but I also see some similarities, um, which worries me a little bit. But okay, hold on. We got to find it. Okay, so this skin looks sick. Love it. Definitely going to use this one. This is like classic Hawkeye, which I really love too. He's got some of the better skins that we've seen for any of the characters on the roster. So I really like that one too. Oh, oh my God. This is the one. This is the one that I will be using exclusively as soon as I unlock it. Oh my God. They nailed it. They nailed the Ronin look for Hawkeye. I am so excited. I am so excited for this. Um, yeah, I have no idea when Hawkeye is dropping unless it said it right here. Okay. Yeah. Step into the future on March 18th plays Hawkeye. Oh my goodness. A whole nother month for the Hawkeye DLC. That is a long wait for between Kate Bishop's DLC to Hawkeye. That is a long, long wait, but nevertheless, Hawkeye's DLC dropping March 8th, March 18th alongside the next gen version of the game. And I guess now let me kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts, first of all, on the war table for Marvel's Avengers Deep Dive with uh, with Hawkeye. Did you guys like it? Does it get you more hype for the game? Are you still a little lukewarm? Not sure how you're feeling about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed my reaction, if you could consider leaving a like rating on the video, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel. Or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.